Tonight on the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror, Terry is everything his twin brother Todd isn't. He's charming, witty, dashing, and also a psychopathic murderer. Tonight's movie, Blood Rage. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of uh, 31 Nights of Halloween ah, Metal. Oh, wait, no, horror. Sorry. Uh, anyways, uh, tonight, 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 it is time to go back to the wonderful world of the slasher. And tonight we have ourselves a doozy of a... Um, lesser known, independent, maybe he was straight to video type of slasher. Anyways, it is still fun and bloody and gory. And that is the movie Blood Rage. Or the movie Slasher, if you look at the title when you watch the movie. Or, uh, I think the Terror at Shady Pines or something was like another name for this movie. Anyways, that's kind of thing that happens, uh with these movies is that uh, they, they, they end up with several different names. But Blood Rage is the name that I'm going with it since it says it right here on the cover. <laughs> I know that doesn't necessarily mean anything. So what is Blood Rage about? Well, <laughs> it is about, well, I guess it starts off this family going to the drive-in and the mom and the boyfriend are a bit of uh, frolicking, I don't know, getting a little bit too... Uh, comfortable with each other so the the two twin boys uh terry and todd decide to uh go out the back of the uh station wagon and this is back when you can open that back door and just go out the back if you know some some kids some people might not understand like what a station wagon does you know <laughs> so you know they'll be kind of confused well anyways they get they sn slip out the back and uh apparently terry decides to grab a, a hatchet out of uh, the back of a truck that's there and then goes up to this uh, couple that are making some sweet, sweet love and kind of just stares at them because, you know, he's a, he's a boy and he's like, oh, wow, naked girl, all that stuff. People doing forbidden things. Anyways, the one guy's like, hey, creep, what are you doing? And he just basically hatchets the guy in the face several times rather bloodily. The, the woman just runs away and then... Uh, as the crowd forms, he gives the hatchet to his brother Todd and then wipes blood all over his hands and his face. And, and he's like, Mommy, Mommy, look at what Todd did. Look what Todd did. Oh, my goodness. And so basically, Todd gets sent to a mental institution, taking the fall for his brother Terry's evil crime. Fast forward uh, many years, and now they're both adults. And it's uh, Thanksgiving time, and it would appear that Todd has escaped the uh, the institution, and uh, is now heading back home to mom. And of course, uh, the people who don't know the truth are freaking out, thinking like, "Oh man, he's gonna come back, and he's gonna start murdering people and all that stuff." And uh, you know, Terry decides this is a perfect opportunity to go into a blood rage because you know he can just blame his brother again and so terry starts murdering people in this uh, apartment community uh, one by one rather bloodily and so will todd be able to clear his name and stop terry's murderous rampage or will terry get it get away with it again and leave poor poor todd to take the fall once again or will the mother get off the fucking phone holy shit she's on the phone like 90 percent of this fucking film it, it feels like it but it's not true but it, it feels like it so let's get to those scores shall we violence and gore i'm giving this a four out of five uh because i, I i'm respecting the quality of of the <laughs> of this movie uh definitely doesn't shy away from the blood that the that the, the hatchet to the face thing uh someone loses their head like a, a nice decapitate we don't see the decapitation but we see we see the aftermath the head uh someone gets 
cut in half. Uh, this other person's head is split open. Hand is cut off. It's it's bloody. It's bloody. It's gory. It's gooey. Uh, it's cheesy. Uh, some of the effects might not hold up nowadays. Uh, and you know. <laughs> Coming off some other movies, you know, you might say, "Oh, come on!" But this is this is some some good old fashioned slasherific awesomeness, and I love it. So, mwah, four out of five. Shock value. I'm gonna give it a two out of five. Uh, obviously, the shocks are are mostly in like the graphicness of the violence, not as much uh, jump scares in that way, and also the shock about like you know how nonchalant Terry. Is. Oh my goodness, he is, he's probably like, he's the best part of the movie, because uh, he is such a freaking character. But anyways, a uh, 2 out of 5 plot, I'm going to give this a 3 out of 5, the the whole, you know, twins and, and setting, you know, setting one up for the blame is uh, kind of unique, not as uh, conventional as slashers go. Um, other than that, it's pretty average, but I'm giving it some bonus for that. So three out of five acting. I'm giving it a two and a half out of five. I would have given it a two because some of the acting is just god awful. This movie, like, but uh, just the the performance of of you know the performance that is is done for Terry is just wonderful and is great. He's 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 kind of charming in his way, but he's also like you know, just like crazy and nuts. And, you know, the way he's just so very like nonchalant about like killing and the, and the whole situation. And like, he truly nails sociopath. And so kudos. So I'm giving like extra points for that. Plus also, you know, to play the, the brother and you know, the, and to be like, you know, kind of like the the opposite and kind of have that vulnerable scared you know i think really good job everyone else uh, so two and a half out of five moving on to nudity and i'm giving this a two and a half out of five uh you know you've got the opening uh love making scene and then there is this a uh, somewhat lengthy shower scene and uh you know some naked corpses pop up uh, a couple times but uh yeah it's about two and a half out of five not bad not bad nice Nice, nice. Anyways, uh, moving on to enjoyment factor, and it's a four out of five. I love these type of movies. I love slashers. It is my favorite genre. I don't know, just something about it just just hits hits me in the heart. It feels at home, even when it, when they're cheesy and kind of stupid. In fact, sometimes it's better when they're cheesy and stupid. I don't know. It's it's a fun movie to watch. You don't have to like you know, think too hard. It's not super serious. It doesn't take itself too serious. Uh, it's, it's, it's a movie that helps you like, you know, just have fun and enjoy some, some peak cinema and not have to like, you know, worry about, you know, things in life. It's, it's a great escape popcorn, get some friends, uh, and you know, riff on it type of movies experience and these are that's it's one of the joys of movies is that even when they're not good they're still great you know so there we go uh four out of five and i'm gonna give this honestly a three out of five i think this is a a, a, a underrated and maybe even underappreciated slasher um you know, I haven't heard about about it until like I, I saw it like on sale uh, from my friends at Arrow Video, and I I, I don't know why their their um, logo looks like a very painful butt plug, but anyways, I'm sure they've gotten that joke before. <laughs> anyways, um, still uh, very solid. I would say it's above average because uh, it, it it does its job trying to do the 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 uh, the violence. And the quirky characters, the uh, you know the 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 better than average plot, and uh, you know it's 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 not one of those forgettable slashers in my opinion. It's a it's a movie that you you, you kind of go like oh yeah yeah I'll watch again and I'll watch it you know it's it's a fun time so uh, three out of five overall impression and that averages out to a three out of five so you know uh, hit that hit those uh, bonus points to. Uh, keep that that average up there so there you have it blood rage blood rage tell me what you think in the comment section below have you seen it do you want to see it uh, i i suggest checking it out especially if you like slashers and uh there we go uh yeah that's it oh that's a 
short one today, but then again, you know, sometimes it's, it's short and sweet. You don't have to go into like the intricacies of a movie. You know, if it's, 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 you know, A, B, C, D, bam, that's the movie. Uh, sometimes you need those. Sometimes you, you just, you just want to switch off and enjoy a movie. You know, he doesn't have to change the human experience and it doesn't have to change uh, your life. It just has to be fun and enjoyable and uh, a nice escape from your troubles for about an hour and a half. So there you have it. So thank you again for watching another episode of the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror. And remember to stay scary, Internet, and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, notification bells, all that stuff. I'm supposed to do that in the beginning, right? You know, because no one's watching toward the end, but whatever. That's where the best jokes are, by the way, people, at the end. But <laughs> save the best for last, people. Save the best for last. Except for, you know, my marathon probably won't have the best movie for the last. But anyways, whatever. It doesn't matter. So, uh, <laughs> So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time on the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror. And, uh, man, people, like, first of all, like, how, like, I, I, I just, I don't know. It's just, like, both kids have blood all over them. Um, you know, it's, I, I just, I, I don't know how, like, especially uh, how bumbling police are in these movies that they can't figure out that the other kid, like you have psychological evaluations and stuff like that. You could figure out this kid's a fucking sociopath, man. Just like spend five minutes with him and you're like, yep, this guy's the killer. And I just don't understand how they can screw that up. But then again, we wouldn't have a movie. So I, I, I guess I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. But man, you know what? Investigators and stuff like that do better. Do better. Always, especially when there's twins involved, man. Always think about the evil twin concept because, you know, it's probably the evil one and you got to find the evil one. You know, it's, it's, it's a coin flip. I understand. But like, you know, use your skills and knowledge and you'll you'll find out. I mean, honestly, you just talk to them like, you know, the, the shy, quiet one. Um, probably not going to be, you know, as prone to emotional outbursts of rage as the uh, sociopathic one. Anyways, anyway, that's all I got. All right. Ah!